And on business news, the Mandarin Customs Service has adjusted the exchange rate for cargo clearance from 783 Naira per dollar to 952 Naira per dollar, representing a 22.8% increase. The federal government's single window trade portal of the Customs Service revealed that the prior exchange rate of 783.17 Naira to the USD has been reviewed upward to 951.94 Naira. The Nigerian Customs Service imposes duties before imported cargoes are cleared from the ports, and these fees range from 5% to 35% as determined by the harmonized commodity and coding system, which is a HS code. The Customs Service generates revenues from these fees and other tariffs accruing to it. In the first six months of this year, the service reported an average collection of 202 billion naira monthly from these tariffs and levies. And the Nigerian content level in 2023 stood at 54%, and although oil and gas industry stakeholders believe the board achieved a milestone this year, the Executive Secretary of the Nigerian Content Development and Monitoring Board, Engineer Simbi Wabota, has worried that not much was achieved in the area of local content enforcement. Simbi spoke alongside key players in the oil and gas industry at the 12th edition of the Practical Nigerian Content Forum, PNC, with the theme, Deepening Nigerian Content Amidst Divestment, Domestication and Decarbonization. Our correspondent, Jesse Everly, has details in this report. The 12th Practical Nigerian Content Forum in session. The Nigerian Content Development and Monitoring Board, NCDMB, and stakeholders of the oil and gas industry are here to assess the achievements made so far in the 10 year strategic roadmap of the board launched in 2017 to have at least 70% Nigerian content by the end of 2027. Executive Secretary Engineer Cindy Labote is giving his keynote address, and although significant gains have been made in many areas, he is particularly worried that the level of local content enforcement in 2023 was not different from the previous year. We have completed 83% of the 96 initiatives under the strategic roadmap, with focus now shifting to the remaining initiatives that requires some heavy lifting to bring into fruition. Our in-country fabrication capacity moved from 60,000 tons per year to 250,000 tons per year. At the 2023 Nigerian content level in the Nigerian oil and gas industry is 54% based on our monitoring and evaluation of industry activities. This percentage is similar to the 54 Nigerian content level achieved last year. Once again, this performance is well above the minimum target of 47% Nigerian content set for 2023. Stakeholders are pleased with the progress made so far and are looking for more partnership and new opportunities in the industry. The content development and monitoring board has made significant progress in advancing the participation of Nigerians in the oil and gas sector. Their efforts in producing technology transfer and capacity building have been commendable, and we must build upon these achievements. We are committed to supporting initiatives that promote local content to say how well we as a country do it, not only regulation, but aiding uh, the participation of uh, our indigenous entities in the oil and gas space. We are going to monitor the Nigerian Content Development Board to see how we can improve on headwinds, procurement in our business, making fast decisions, and enabling companies that can have local capacity to do this that we are speaking, so that ultimately we will bring that goal that is to us to be required. We can be really of the opportunity that are there. The decade of gas initiative means exciting times are on the horizon for the industry, bringing with it immense opportunities for growth. The exhibition of oil and gas industry equipment manufactured in country is part of the three-day event.
Jesse Evans. Plus the news. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.